Hi, I'm Chip Lear with your Power Lodge Power Tip, and I'll tell you what, I fish all across North America. I love to fish walleyes on the Great Lakes. I like smallmouth bass on the Great Lakes. The Ranger 620 BS from Power Lodge, hop aboard and let me show you how I rig my boat to fish anywhere, anyhow. One of the first things that I love about the Ranger system is I've got three places to access my boat all from the customized fenders of this Ranger trailer built right at the factory. The first thing we're going to start with is the transom of the boat and you're going to notice that I have rigged on the back two Evinrude E-Tech engines. Obviously I've got the big E-Tech here from running from spot to spot. That's my main source of power. When I'm actually fishing I use the two other accessories that I have on the back. An Evinrude 15 HO E-Tech works off the same fuel system there but also, if I find a spot that the fish are going and I want to lock down, I've got myself a Minn Kota Talon on the back. This is the new 12-foot Talon back here, so in really deep water, I want to lock down and concentrate on a group of fish, I can do that with the push of a button. On the deck of the boat, pretty simple. One thing that makes Ranger boats so fantastic is all the accessories they have here. Huge, oversized Ranger live well. Got electronics here. Here I can shut the entire boat down with the flip of a switch, that's my main power switch. And you'll notice on this one, this is the 620, I've got an accessory, I've got a big oversized casting deck that's built out of the same material as the rest of the Ranger boat. If I'm casting in a casting situation where I'm doing bass or muskies, I love this deck. If I don't want it, slide in, more passenger seats, comes with two more there, so I've got plenty of room for everybody to go. Got a full box to tackle on this side. Over here on this side, this is where I keep all my soft plastics. Trolling, hard to beat rod holders. But if I don't want to use them, I just pull them out, throw them in a the compartment. The only thing I have here is my rod holders themselves. Beautiful from Canon. Slide into my cockpit. And here I've got multiple controls to do a number of things. I've mounted my side button here to mount my talons, so if I find some fish, on my graph or somewhere I want to lock up, I can anchor down, lock down, the push of a button there. Two electronics units here, a Humminbird 1198 and a 998. Why two? Because I oftentimes am running in conjunction and multiplying my views. Best part is they're all paired with that Humminbird up there with the iLink system. This is the master control center. Most of my fishing, whether I'm bass fishing or walleye fishing, I'm all doing from the bow of my boat here. Minn Kota Tarova, longer shaft there with of course another 1158 big screen Humminbird unit here. Here I can use with the iLink system. This allows me to uh, work in conjunction with the Lake Master map so I can follow the contour, follow a specific depth on a chart and target specific areas. All from a master control panel that I can run with my foot. And what am I standing on? I'm standing on the greatest dry storage in the world. Last feature, which is my favorite, the center rod storage. Open that up there and look at that storage. So I got bass tackle, a little bit of walleye tackle, staying again nice and dry. The Ranger 620 is my choice from the Power Lodge.